Hey, so today I'm going to talk to you about area and circumference of circles, okay? Now, this is a circle. This right here is called the center of a circle. A line that goes from the center of the circle to the end of the circle is called a radius, okay? A line that goes from one end of the circle to the other end of the circle and it passes through the center is called a diameter. A line that goes from one end of the circle to another end of the circle, but it doesn't pass through the center, is called a chord. Okay? Now, imagine this circle is a pizza, and I cut out a slice. Okay? This slice is called a sector. Okay? Now, the crust of that specific slice is called an arc. Now... Again, imagine this is a pizza. Now, imagine the crust of the whole pizza. That's called the circumference. And imagine you're putting cheese all over this pizza. I'm going to shade in the bit you put cheese on. Okay, that's called your area. Okay, so in this topic, we're going to be working out how we're going to work out the area and the circumference. Okay, remember the circumference is the crust all the way around the pizza. Okay. Now, the formula to work out area is going to be pi multiplied by radius squared. And I'm going to show you how to get pi on your calculator. To work out the circumference, you're going to do pi multiplied by diameter. Okay? One thing you need to know is diameter is twice as long as the radius. So you can say that diameter is equal to 2r. Okay? So one diameter is equal to two radiuses. If you get a radius and double it, you will get your diameter. Okay, and we're going to need to know that for some of the questions. Okay, let's start off. Before we start off, I'm going to show you how to get pi on a calculator. Now, you've got a times 10 button towards the bottom of your calculator, and you've got a shift button towards the top. So I want you to click shift and then times 10. It's not going to work if you click times 10 and then shift. You need to click shift and then times 10, and you should get your pi sign. That's what your pi sign looks like, okay? Now, another thing is when we're going to square our radius, this is the button for squared. Okay, now let's get let's start off. The formula for area is pi times radius squared. In this question, I can see that the radius is six, so I'm going to do pi multiplied by six squared. Okay, so get your calculator, do shift times ten to get your pi, then click multiply six, and that's your squared button. Click equals to. Now you're going to get your answer in terms of pi, but the question might ask you to give it in decimal place. So on top of the delete button, you will have an SD button, which you need to click and round it to one decimal place too, depending on the question. Okay, so I'm going to show you one decimal place, 113.1 to one decimal place. Okay, so the area is 113.1 centimeters squared to one decimal place. And I'm just going to put that in brackets, okay? Now, to work out the circumference, I'm going to do pi multiplied by diameter. Now, if the radius is 6, the diameter will be double this, so the radius will be 12. So in my calculator, I'm going to do pi multiplied by 12. Let's put that into the calculator. Pi multiplied by 12. Click SD, and I'm going to get 37.69, so I'm going to round it to 37.7. Okay? So 37.7 centimetres. Now, that's not centimetres squared, because I'm working out the length of the crust, right? I'm not working out area, just the length. So it's not going to be centimetres squared, just centimetres. Okay? Now, here are, a few here, here are a few examples. If you want to have a go, pause the video, and then I'll go through them. Okay? Okay. So, for the first one, this diameter is 20 centimetres. To work out area, I need to do pi multiplied by radius squared. If the diameter is 20, the radius is going to be half of that, so the radius is going to be 10. So, on the side, I'm just going to write radius is 10. So I'm going to do pi multiplied by 10 squared. Let's plug that into our calculator. Shift times 10 to get the pi. Multiplied by 10 squared. Click the SD button. 314.15. I'll round it to 314.2. Okay. So 314.2 centimeters squared to one decimal place. Now circumference is pi multiplied by diameter. And I've already got the diameter, so I'll just do pi multiplied by 20 in my calculator. So shift times 10 to get the pi times 20. And I'm going to get 62.8 to one decimal place. 
62.8 centimeters to one decimal place. Okay, now let's look at the circles when we've got decimals place involved. Okay, so this is the radius. The radius is going to be 7.3. Diameter will be double this. Double 7.3 is going to be 14.6. Okay, so just write that down in the corner. It's fine. It's your exam paper. You can write anything you want on the side. Okay, so area is pi multiplied by radius squared. So I'm going to do pi multiplied by 7.3 squared. Shift times 10 multiplied by 7.3 squared. Click the SD button always. And I'm going to get 167.4 to one decimal place. 167.4 centimeters squared to one decimal place. Okay. Now the circumference. Remember pi multiplied by diameter for this one. And the diameter is 14.6. So I'm going to do pi times 14.6 in my calculator. Shift times 10 to get the pi. Multiplied by 14 times 6. Click SD and I'm going to get 45.9 to one decimal place. 45.9 centimeters to one decimal place. Okay. Last question. This question is giving me the diameter which is 6.32. So half of that will be the radius. So the radius is going to be 3.16. Okay. So I'm going to do pi times 3.16 squared, shift pi times 3.16 squared, and I'm going to get 31.4 to one decimal place. So my area is going to be 31.4 centimeters squared to one dp. Lastly, I'm working out the circumference. My diameter is given to me, so I'll just do pi multiplied by 6.32. Pi multiplied by 6.32, which is going to be 19.9 .9 to one decimal place. 19.9 .9 centimeters to one decimal place. Okay. So remember from the center to the edge is called radius. A line that goes from one end to the circle to the other end and it passes through the center's diameter. If it doesn't pass through the center, it's a chord. Okay. A pizza slice is a sector. The crust of a pizza slice is an arc. Crust of the whole pizza is circumference. And this bit, shaded bit, is the area of a circle. Okay? Area formula, pi times r squared, radius squared. And circumference formula is pi multiplied by diameter. Remember your diameter is double your radius. Okay? Practice some questions and you'll get the hang of the formulas. Okay? Thank you.